Hi everyone, I'm Carl, and here we are with the last Trans Blaster video. I have, to some extent, pre-prepared all five of them in front of you here. I'm sorry that we have the exposed edges of the light box, but he's a bit bigger than, well, the individual figures, because he's all the figures combined together. So, uh, first things first, let me just point out that, uh, Old, um, uh, Trans Blaster 2 here. He, uh, actually can rotate his arms. They're just a little stiff, and he can do this. Still not a great sort of articulation, but he has a little more than I originally thought. I discovered this while putting him into this mode. Now, this mode is... Awkward, as I mentioned in the previous video, it is awkward. Very awkward. Uh, so... I've kind of put them all into their to-be-ready-to-be-combined mode, simply because it's easier than dicking around on camera. So then, let me just grab each of the individual Trans Blasters. Here we have Trans Blaster... Three, I think. I hope he's Trans Blaster 3, yes. And this is his foot mode. I'm just doing this for anyone who happens to want to effectively make this themselves. I'm just trying to show off what I believe they're supposed to look like based on photos I've seen on the internet of this character. So that's foot mode 1. I don't know if that'll stand. It won't. We'll get to that later. This is Trans Blaster 4. 3 and 4 form the feet. Now, this is a little bit more of an obvious foot, you know? Here is the foot. It kind of looks like a foot. And if you do this, it looks a lot like a foot. With a little bit of extra back carriage. Unfortunately, I won't be doing this. Now, the reason I won't be doing this is I cannot, for the life of me, get this thing to stand if I put the foot in what I believe is supposed to be foot mode. You kind of have these teeny, 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 tiny heels right here that are um, his sort of head, ear, fling things. But it, you don't, he doesn't stand, he can't, he falls, like, instantly. So what I personally am going to do is I'm going to put him in pretty much complete gun mode, which will put a big chunk of metal He'll look very silly from the back, but he will stand fairly properly. Look, that even stands by itself, so I'm gonna do that just because it's the only sane way to do this. Okay, so Transblash the Two forms the right hand arm thing, thank you. And he pretty much goes all the way back into his gun mode, excepting that you move this cab thing you make sure it's on this end, and you'll be moving his arms up, if I remember correctly, like that. Or like this. Let me check. Forward, rotate. Oh, it's this side? It is this side. Alright, I got it. I got it. Yeah, he'll be like this. Now, important note about this. This is just kind of important. In order to get him to actually clip, he has to be put back together like this. That means that this metal bit will just kind of hang out. Same with this one. I can't figure out how to get those to peg back in if they can be pegged in. He just seems to want to sit like this. It's the only way that he'll clip together, so... Finally, the left hand, and probably the only one that really approaches looking vaguely like something. Here is the left hand, which, as you can see, is, well, not exactly a hand, but there is a kind of, he has fingers and a claw sort of aesthetic, so he has some sort of thing that approaches a hand. I don't know, you could, what are these, thumbs maybe? Okay, now, as for Trans Blaster 5, the big guy, we'll have to push his back part a little bit away and you have to close up his legs like this you don't well you don't strictly have to close up his legs but it helps 
um, to keep him sort of like this. Now, you may have noticed he has got this uh, big belt sort of thing here. This is actually pulled out from underneath the cabinet here. Now, the trick with him is that I didn't show this in the previous video. When he's in his regular mode, he has this tiny, smaller belt. And when he's in his combined mode, you're supposed to take out the rest of the belt and give him the full belt experience. Uh, it's a little silly, but, you know, it's the only thing he has that you actually have to reveal for combiner mode. Uh, make sure that you bring his metal heels in a bit, because you do not want him back heavy when it comes to combining him. Now, we put his arms up like this, and you'll notice that we have exposed these pegs. These guys. And I've exposed those on both sides. I guess it's not strictly mandatory to do that yet, since we'll be starting with the feet. Alright, so here we go. Wish me luck. Because it kind of feels like you're breaking him whenever you plug these things in, so... Sweet, merciful baby Jesus. Alright. Now, what you have to do is, you have to line up these ludicrous, genuinely ludicrous, tiny little peg holes. There's the peg that flips out. And you can see that tiny little hole, which means that you have to match that tiny little peg hole with the full robot up here. So let's, let's get this. Make sure that we've positioned this metal thing out of the way, which unfortunately can be very difficult, while also allowing him to not fall over. Ugh. I might have to put it towards the back, which I don't like to do, because he'll fall over, but whatever. And then you just force the shit out of it. Yeah. Great, we did it. We forced it, and we got it. We did it. That's it's leg one. Leg two is very similar. It has the same sort of hole, but these can only obviously connect on one side. So you can't really get it wrong. You just have to hope for the best. All right, there we go. He is standing. And he is standing mostly by virtue of the fact that I have left that back heel open. So let's just clip in the rest of these arms. Again, he has these ridiculous peg holes, which you can see right there, those two little squares right here. They have to be perfectly and exactingly connected up here in order for his arm to sit properly. And this little arm bit here tends to just kind of flop in when you try and plug him in, so... You're basically fighting a war against plastic, and... When you use constant physical strength with plastic, the only thing you're gonna win is a broken figure, so... Wish me luck. We did it. All right, we got that arm on. So now for what I consider the trickiest arm. Just because you kind of have to match him perfectly, and I had a lot of trouble uh, getting this specific arm into the right place. Because it has to be perfect or it won't work. I have now done that, so... He went in much easier than he's ever gone in before. So that's good. Ugh. All right, there he is. He's leaning to one side. I believe if you can get him to stand without needing to leave that back foot open, you'll get a lot more... You'll get a much better stand out of him. I do not think it's physically possible, but I would love to be proven wrong or if someone can, you know, get him 
into a sort of, yeah, man, it's cool. I did it. I did it. No problem. It was super easy because I'm amazing and you're an idiot. That's fine. You know, I, that'd be great. I'd love to see someone transform this guy properly. Now then, before we get into the details of the figure, this is his gun. You may recognize it as all of the Trans Blaster guns. That's right. They all kind of plug into the gun for Mr. Big over here. It kind of looks rubbish. I mean, it looks silly. But it's the only thing that he has to arm himself in his gun mode. So there's a couple of pegs over here, and we just gotta move that around, and you can't go wrong because these are the only pegs that will line up properly. And you just push it in. And now he can lean even more because this arm is not as stable as the other because it's got all the metal in the back and I just unplugged it, so that's fantastic. I'm doing great. As I said, good luck, you know. Ugh. Okay, let's just not touch him. Because you don't want to touch him. Alright. Now, yes, I can see that you don't have the perfect optimal view. Everyone hold your breath. We're going up. Okay. So. This is our Trans Blaster. Trans Blaster the Combine Mode. Let's just bring him across. It's the same head, but when he's combined, the head looks like a lot more reasonable in terms of scale, you know? When he's combined, you kind of get this feeling of, oh yeah, now I see why his head is way too freaking big for the smaller robot, because he's supposed to be combined into this big-ass robot here. Yeah, he's crimping my light box, what are you gonna do? Yeah, this foot, this foot sucks. Um... It just has to, it, there's no support on this foot at all. It's all on the carriage here. These are useless as well. They're just there for aesthetic reasons. They don't even lock into anything. Here was the other foot. He doesn't look great from this side, but he can stand without falling over. And if you're wondering, yes, I did try and do it without that for a long period of time, and guess what happened? He fell backwards. And there he is again. I moved the camera again. I'm stacking boxes and stuff here, people. This isn't the best operation in the world. Let's see if I can move him to the side. If we can give him a, a different silhouette here. Praise merciful. Merciful toy gods. So here he is from one of the sides. This is probably his better looking side. I don't know. So yeah, that's what he looks like from the side. And again, he looks pretty good, okay? I'm gonna, you know, complete credit, he looks pretty good from the side. And from the front, he looks a lot better than basic Trans Blaster 5. And I actually was, I found the the, transma the uh, combined look quite appealing for this guy. And here he is from the back. Uh... Yeah. And here he is from the other side! And, again, he looks pretty cool. The color scheme that they chose works really, really well. Just... He looks good. I think he looks pretty good. Uh, now the big problem, as you may have realized, based on the fact that I used the phrase peg holes to describe his, uh, connecting mechanism, nothing turns. I, no, I'm not, no, I'm not even, those actually can, uh, kind of spread a little, no, no, don't, we're not touching that. Uh, the only, only bit of articulation this guy has ugh, The, uh, torso can bend. Ugh. Ugh. So yeah, he can bend his uh, hips forward and back, his spine, which...
the left leg came loose, but I fixed it. Which, you know, is not perfect, and yeah... The height issue is caused more by the fact that I can't physically get him to work in the other design mode. Maybe he could work better, but I don't think he can, because... He just... It's extreme trouble standing, he needs a crutches, and... I don't have... Actually, probably tiny, baby-sized toddler crutches. Because he is pretty damn big. Uh, let me bring in my favorite piece of comparison. An Xbox 360 controller. I don't even know if you can see this. Yeah, you can. So, yeah, he's got two, for sure, and a little bit more of the Xbox 360 controller comparison. Uh, don't buy him to combine him. Uh, and you might break him if you do combine him. So, don't. Unless you really want to and you're crazy for some reason. Okay, well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take him apart again. Ah. <sighs> See you on the other side. Alright, well, thank you all for joining me on this tour of the Transblaster series of robots from China, I believe. This is them. I Did I get them in order? No, it's... Two, three, four, one, and five. Yes, so overall, if you want a, I don't know, like a broad impression of these guys, um, I recommend them. They're full of metal. They're kind of, well, not full of metal. They're a bit metal. They have kind of janky, like pretty much all the robots put together have the articulation of like one good figure. More or less, you know, like, I can't say that they're, like, super amazing and that you have to rush out and get them, but, well, you really would know if you want these, because they're cool, they're fun, they're different. They look good as a team, as you can see, they look pretty solid on display, even though they can't get all the poses. Combined mode's kind of a bust, but it's not the worst thing ever. I still wouldn't recommend it. But... No, I like these figures quite a lot. I think that they're great. I love that they're functional Nerf guns and that they do actually function as Nerf guns. So that's a lot of fun. I've been Carl. These were the Trans Blasters. Thanks for joining me. Hey, wait a second.